So I'm gonna work for service. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. You guys gotta stay here with me. <clears throat> um, um, thank you, Elizabeth, Israel, and Kirsty. Um, stay here. You need to be with me. Um, I'd like to begin by expressing my deepest gratitude to everyone at the Pat Tillman Foundation, led by Marie Tillman Shenton, who I'm so honored is here tonight. I'd also like to acknowledge the Tillman family especially Mrs. Mary Tillman, Pat's mother. Her advocacy for Pat's legacy is deeply personal and one that I respect. The bond between a mother and son is eternal and transcends even the greatest losses. The truth is, I stand here not as Prince Harry Pat Tillman Award recipient, but rather a voice on behalf of the Invictus Games Foundation and the thousands of veterans and service personnel from over 20 nations who have made the Invictus Games a reality. This award belongs to them, not to me. That said, it is of great importance to me to highlight these allies, athletes, and their amazing families for their achievements, their spirit, and their courage at every opportunity, especially on nights like this in front of people like you. Moments like these help us reach those that need Invictus most and reduce more than 20 veterans a day talking, taking their own lives in this country alone. For those who may not know, Invictus comes from Latin, meaning undefeated or unconquerable. Nelson Mandela credited the poem of the same name, written by the poet William Ernest Henley, for giving him the strength to endure nearly 30 years of imprisonment. Like that poem, the spirit of the Invictus Games transcends race, time, and borders. It is born from unity and exudes purpose. This year, we're celebrating 10 years of witnessing life-changing impact and healing through sport. And while so much progress has been made since those first games, the world outside seems to be in an even more precarious state. We live in an age marked by polarization and division. Conflicts rage around the globe. Anger and resentment towards those who are different seem to pervade societies everywhere. Our community challenges that. Our community proves that unity is not just possible, but formidable. The beauty of the Invictus Games lies in how it brings people together, no matter one's nationality, background, or personal struggles. It is a collective built from courage and mutual respect, where athletes discover time and time again the common denominator of their humanity. Having survived the crucible of armed combat and forged through the challenge to rebuild bodies and minds impacted by conflict, they form a family. They exemplify the very best in all of us. There is a military expression that dates back to Roman times. I'll spare you another Latin lesson. But the phrase, the phrase translates, or the phrases translates roughly, to leave no one behind. And they hold particular significance for the US Army's Rangers. And I have no doubt Pat Tillman and his comrades lived by those words. So, it is fitting that I end with them and make a promise on behalf of all of us at the Invictus Games Foundation. No matter the road ahead, we are here for you. We will leave no one behind. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
It is said that Princess Diana used the nickname Good King Harry to refer to her youngest son ever so often. Tonight he proved more than ever that he is so deservant of that nickname, Good King Harry, a nickname that highlights Prince Harry's positive qualities and actions. Despite facing significant challenges and criticism, this title emphasizes his exemplary behavior, consistently conducting himself with dignity and integrity in the face of public scrutiny. Care and empathy demonstrating genuine concern for others, particularly through his work with veterans and mental health initiatives. Compassion, showing kindness and understanding towards those in need or facing difficulties. Honor, upholding his principles and values even when it means making difficult decisions or facing criticism. Resilience, maintaining his character and continuing his charitable work despite negative press, media scrutiny and family tensions. Leadership, taking initiative in causes he believes in, such as Invictus Games, mental health awareness and environmental conservation authenticity, being true to himself and his beliefs, even when they conflict with traditional expectations of royal life, advocacy, using his platform to speak up for causes and people who might otherwise be overlooked. Your mother knew exactly what she was doing when she nicknamed you Good King Harry. For that you are. Tonight, you continue to show the behavior and qualities of a kingly and noble person. Your mother, Princess Diana, is so proud of you, I am sure. And so are the rest of us. You are an honorable man. Your nobility comes from no title. It comes from your actions and your character. Good King Harry, indeed. <laughs>